Cooper CPAs, located in the heart of East Nashville, offer a wide variety of tax services for individuals and businesses. Contact them at 615-257-0646 and visit their website, allcooper.com, for a full list of services. Welcome to Music Business Daily, where we bring you today's hottest music news. I'm Jillian. And I'm Hannah, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Blake Shelton, Miranda Lambert, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Beyonce, and so much more, so stick around. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Welcome back. Our first story today, we're going to talk about Sunday's American Country Music Awards yes. in Las Vegas. A um, couple, Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton, made a splash. Miranda brought home uh, the award for Female Vocalist of the Year and got worried because she was, like, very emotional winning, and then she got to meet her idol. Why wouldn't she be? I know, right? <laughs> um, she's like, my tough girl image is ruined, and which I think is... You know. Oh, no, I think it makes people love her even more, that they can exactly. see she has this tough girl image and can get emotional at the same time. I agree, I agree. And then her husband actually announced, too, that he's going to be marrying Kelly Clarkson uh, to her fiancé, um, Brandon Blackstock, at their wedding. He's so, going to officiate. Yes. I, I didn't know he could do cool. that. Uh, well, I know that you can get, like... Um, a certificate or something like there's yeah. online courses to be able to marry people so he will I assume I don't know if he's taking an online course or attending class I'm not sure but he'll be marrying them that's so crazy yeah so that was announced on Sunday too oh so, yeah well it, it was an interesting award show <laughs> it sounds like it I wasn't able to tune in but maybe I'll have to go find some reruns or something and yeah watch it <laughs> yeah well <laughs> Also, theater legend Andrew Lloyd Webber is actually going to be creating a new musical. He actually bought the rights to School of Rock, which is wow. the Jack Black movie from 2003. Yeah. And he's planning on making that into a stage musical. And he's going to write you know, new music for it. And hopefully we'll be seeing that in the not-too-distant future. It's still in the beginning stages. He's just started working on it. Yeah. So that should be really exciting. Yeah, I feel like that's really different for him because yeah. he's done, what, Phantom of the Opera. Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah, and so I'm interested to see his musical twist on School of Rock. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be an interesting... comedy, right? Yeah, it's a comedy, and it's more rock-based, hence the name School of Rock. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious to see what he does with that, but he's got the experience behind him that oh, yeah. he should hopefully be able to make it into a really yeah. great musical. We so. can take a trip to New York and see it whenever it comes out. We'll go see that, and then we'll go see... <laughs> Diner. Yes, <Yeah>. Diner, <laughs> the, the Sheryl Crow one that's coming out. Yes. Um... We have a little bit more of a serious story for you now. Um, Rick Ross has been getting a lot of negative coverage in the media recently because in his song UOENO, -E um, one of his lyrics, you know, people are saying refers to rape and saying mm. that he condones rape. Um, the lyric itself says, um, it says, put Molly all in her champagne, she ain't even know it. I took her home and I enjoyed that, she ain't even know it. Um, and Rick Ross went on Q93 in New Orleans and mm -hmm. was like, well, I didn't say the word rape. It's a misunderstanding. But, you know, saying I you, can, you know. Yeah, I can see how that would be a misunderstanding, so but yeah, it seems like it was very well insinuated. Yeah, You know, exactly. within the lyrics. And that's what the, pe that's why people are upset. They're, and yeah. they're saying, you know, maybe you didn't say the word rape, but you allude to it and that's yeah, not and that's okay. Just, um, with the issues we have already in our culture and in this time, you know, exactly. with that kind of stuff, the last thing we need is some song glorifying date rape. Exactly. It's, it's yeah. something that's like in the media that kids are listening to. And so his, yeah. I like this. His fellow rapper, um, Taleb Quelly, mm -hmm. um, said that Rick Ross condoned rape in that song and he shouldn't, uh, um, you know, his pol apology was unacceptable. But then he goes on to say, it's clear from Ross's apology that he doesn't understand that you don't have to say rape in order to condone it, um, yeah. and that Ross needs love and education on this issue. He has a platform that can be used for good, especially if he takes responsibility here. So, you know, I think that's awesome because, you know, yeah. Rick Ross, maybe you made a mistake and that's okay, but 
you know, maybe you can learn from it and educate mm -hmm. other people as well. Yeah. On it. Hopefully so. I mean, hopefully this is a huge learning experience for him and he's able to, you know, take this and just grow and move forward from it. Yes. Yeah. All the women out here hope that you do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> um, well, everyone, I'm sure, is aware of the new Great Gatsby movie coming out very soon. I'm excited. Every time I see well, one of the previews for it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this movie is going to be so awesome. Um, I actually really love what the Australian film director, Baz Luhrmann, has done mm -hmm. with it. Is He's not using music that is period appropriate. He's actually, okay. the entire soundtrack is strictly 21st century, like, rap, hip-hop, and pop music. Wow. Which is really exciting. You know, they've written a couple new songs. He's got people like Jay-Z, Beyonce, uh, Lana Del Rey. All people I love. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Performing <laughs> on the soundtrack, which is going to be released in May. Mm -hmm. And But they just released the soundtrack, the list of all the songs and the music that are on it. And I think that's going to be really interesting hearing, yeah. you know, his take mixing the contemporary music with this story, mm -hmm. you know, that's very popular, that's, you know, very period piece. Right. So that's... I'm excited. It's going to be really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, our next story. So 98 Degrees, if you haven't heard, has reunited, which I'm super excited about. Um, <laughs> beautiful men and voices. Well, uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> they were on MTV News last week um, giving an interview, and so they were asked to give advice to their the newbie boy bands, mm -hmm. One Direction, um, Hot Shell Ray, the Wanted, and one of the things that they said is you need to surround yourself with good people. That Great they advice. That's something that they admitted that they didn't do back yeah. in the 90s whenever they first started out and that it affected them. Yeah. Um, Nick Lachey even made the joke that they needed to stay away from Taylor Swift or they would have a song written about them. <laughs> but as some of you know, I get Taylor has already dated a member of One Direction, yeah, so right? who knows? Um, Might be a song coming out about him soon. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and they were also talking about something that affected them in the 90s, they feel like was how, I mean, I grew up in the 90s, so, yeah, you I know, did as well. it was NSYNC versus Backstreet Boys all the way. You had to pick one, you weren't mm -hmm. allowed to have more than one, and 90 Degrees was saying that, like, that affected them because you could only like one boy band back then. Like uh, fans had super strong allegiances. Yeah. Um, but now you don't have that. Like, it, it, like you're you more keen to you like, like whatever wanted. you want. You yeah. like One Direction. You like Hot Shell Ray. So, th and that's true because yeah. I'm, well, they all have different sounds to them. Like I yeah. feel like back in the day, they all had very similar poppy sounds to mm -hmm. them, and now there's just such this diversity across the board, even with the boy bands yeah. that. You can like two different boy bands, and you're liking two totally different bands. It's not like you're liking, you know, two boy bands. They're just different. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You're so smart. <laughs> Thanks. I went to school. <laughs> um, well, last, this is probably one of my favorite stories I've read recently. Kid uh -huh. Rock is actually taking a quote-unquote pay cut because he has agreed to offer tickets to his tour coming up this summer for only $20 at a lot of really big venues and stuff, which I really admire that he's doing that. Because, Me too. you know, he could easily charge, you know, $100 for tickets and mm -hmm. be making a ton of money off of this tour, but he's agreed to take a pay cut to make it more affordable for his fans to come out and see him. I love that. I wish more people would do that. Yeah. Uh, sports industry needs to take a lead from Kid right? Rock. Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> definitely. That would be... Amazing. I could go to more sporting events, go to more concerts, and yeah, not exactly. have to worry about breaking the bank. I, yeah, exactly, yeah. because that's, like, obviously the economy has, like, had a tough time since 9-11, mm -hmm. and, you know, the normal average person can't go to music concerts or, yeah, or not as events. many as they would want. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's awesome. Go Kid Rock. Yeah. Keep rocking. Saying. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's all we have today for you guys for Music Business Daily. So tune in tomorrow for a new episode. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city.